Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to do a channel update. The last time that I did it was last year, May. Now there's a couple of things that I want to cover on this video, mostly the weekly vlogs, but also some of the keto videos that I'm uploading, some of the language videos that I want to make, and also photography videos. In case you haven't noticed, I'm actually behind on the vlogs. Right now it's May and this video is actually going to go up tomorrow tuesday and then on wednesday i'm gonna put a vlog out now that vlog is actually the end of our mexico trip so it's gonna be mid january so i'm about four months behind but actually that's a good thing because the busy season is coming up for me for weddings and uh, there's not really much going on besides me complaining about how busy i am not having enough time to do videos and things like that so what i decided to do is i'm basically gonna skip summer and i'm gonna end season one at episode 52 and then season two is gonna kick off with the first couple of weeks right before we hit australia i'm doing a lot of practicing with the vlogs uh, as far as the video quality trying to make it a little bit more entertaining i want to get away from the highlight videos but i still haven't really found a good formula yet Yet. Uh, but in the future I want to do more of an actual vlog where I'm taking you guys through the day and then inserting videos of things that I've done or something like that but right now I'm still working on it so let me know if you have any ideas on how to make the, my uh, vlogs a little bit better after the Australia trip I'm gonna start vlogging on our trip to Japan this summer the idea is to finish off the Hokkaido road trip that I couldn't finish last year because of the broken ankle so let me move on to the keto videos Right now, those are the ones that I'm most interested in just because I'm still learning. There's still a lot of things about keto that I'm struggling with, that I need to learn, that I need to kind of figure out. And to be honest, a lot of it is just mental. Physically, once I get into a, a groove, then it's really easy. I don't really get hungry. I don't get cravings. Uh, but once I break from that groove and I start having cheat days, that's when I have a, a problem. Right now, what I got so far and w what I'm going to finesse a little bit is definitely intermittent fasting, going strict for five days, Monday to Friday. And if I want to do carb up days or cheat days, whatever they're called, I'm probably just going to restrict them to Saturday and Sunday, never more than two days. Please continue to watch my keto videos. Let me know how I can improve them or if there's something else that you want to see. Besides the keto videos, I've uploaded different types of videos so far, uh, something that uh, all of a sudden became really popular was the finance videos or at least my investing strategies I don't plan on making too many of those videos just because as I have met on those videos my knowledge is very limited there's no way that I would feel comfortable advising somebody on how to invest their money especially the, because the more that I learn the more I feel that uh, long-term investing is probably where I'm more comfortable at where I'm basically just finding good locations where I can invest the money and I think about it and just kind of let it grow i don't really think i'm going to turn into like a daily trader or a penny stock trader which originally i kind of thought i would be interested in but i'm not if i learn anything new or something comes up i'll definitely make a video about it and uh hopefully you guys enjoy those now let me talk a little bit about language videos i kind of been sneaking in in the vlogs my conversation with my daughters to kind of show you guys uh, how we're doing it, how we're getting them to uh, learn not just three languages, but also three different cultures. But honestly, I think I've been struggling the most with the language videos. What I'm thinking right now is I'm going to do like a, a summary video to kind of intro the series. And then I'm going to break each of the different strategies and the different methods that we've been using uh, to get them to learn English, Spanish, and Japanese, and also the cultures and all that without having to like travel like we're doing. I'm aware that we're in a unique situation where we have seasons and we're self-employed so that we can have time off and then not everybody's in that same situation. So I'm going to work it. I have a few ideas, but they're coming. I promise you they're going to come and then hopefully they'll help you guys out. And the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the photography videos. It's interesting to me that I earn my living taking photos. That's probably where I'm most comfortable at. Out of all the things that I talk about in my channel, photography is definitely the one that I have the most confidence. I think I'm close to where I want to be as far as knowledge. Maybe not experience wise, but knowledge wise, I think I'm kind of there. It's just that I still struggle with how I deliver information. I still find myself kind of scattered or ranting. And I think for me to be able to make good photography videos, I need to be able to put it down on paper and be able to go step by step, bullet by bullet, so that 
one i don't confuse you guys two i don't repeat myself over and over again so i'm committing myself to uh making at least one photography related video a week a lot of it is probably going to be local kind of oahu photography industry type stuff just because 90 percent of the stuff that i do is uh, japanese weddings here in hawaii and i say japanese weddings because they're a lot different than local weddings so i'm probably gonna start out by doing some training videos on people that maybe are getting started in the japanese uh, photography industry here uh, some of the chapels some of the locations that i shoot at and then eventually kind of move a little bit more towards you know different uh, photography styles uh, settings and all that my wife is getting really popular on instagram so what i can also do is maybe share some of the tips that she has to grow your instagram uh, following and be able to book jobs on instagram so that's it for this channel update video as i mentioned earlier please let me know what kind of videos you want to watch please let me know if you have ideas on how i can make my videos a little bit more interesting especially with my vlogs because i want to continue to make vlogs because i want to document all the adventures that we have uh, with my family but i also don't want them to be boring i want them to be entertaining not just to me but to everybody and so any ideas would be greatly appreciated on on any of the topics that i talked about on this video thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel also please consider hitting that bell so that you get notifications when i upload new videos and uh yeah i really appreciate you guys watching you don't have to so the fact that you're doing it it gives me a warm and fuzzy and so yeah thank you appreciate it